Hi, this is Coach Risto and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and click the notification button. Um, thank you very much for those that always follow me on my YouTube or, or Facebook. And based on the questions that I put them, uh, a lot of results that came out um, that I should talk about how to disclose your HIV status to your sexual partner or partner. This is one of the questions that got a lot of responses that I have to talk about this. Um, to start with, um, all of us, we understand HIV and currently now at least we are breathing because we know the, the pyramid of HIV, we know how HIV transmit, and we know all the myths and others. When you look back um, those years, you find out that since 1980, HIV was very, 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 very difficult to be understood. And when you hear that somebody is having HIV, it's like that person is dying. But in, as we speak now, the virus have been known, medicine has been found uh, to suppress the virus, for people to live nicely, for those that are HIV positive to live with those that are HIV negative because of the medicine that um, uh, scientists found, which now they are, which are they are using in their country. I know even though there is medicine, it's still scary that when you hear that one of your, uh, your spouse is HIV positive or yourself you are HIV positive it's very difficult for you to uh, take it uh, just to accept that yes my partner is um, HIV positive so I, I have just to accept it so but the most challenges that uh, we encounter is how to share how to uh, disclose your HIV status to that one and this is simply that's what I want to um, to, to to speak about. Um, the most uh, thing is that first of all, before you disclose your HIV status, you need to look within yourself. You need to ask yourself several questions: Are you ready to disclose it? And if you are ready, how ready are you to say it? And in which way are you going to say it? And to who are you ready to disclose your HIV status? These are the questions that you need to ask yourself. But if you find out that, yes, you are ready to disclose your HIV status, then yes, you can go ahead to disclose your HIV status. But the question comes, how would I do it? Yeah, the first thing that you need to do, keep what you say as simple and direct as possible. Whatever you say, keep it simple and direct as possible. Tell the person in and in a few minutes about what you have and as simple and let that person then deal with it whether to accept what you have said or to reject but you must also prepare yourself that there might be a feelings of rejection there might be surprises on on what you are disclosing to them so you need to be ready for the outcome from the another person and um, you might also need to be ready for questioning. They will ask you a question, how, why were you being quiet? But within yourself, at least you say it out. That's when you can start now to have a dialogue to tell the person, um, I'm just informing you because I loved you or because you are one of the close person to my heart and I could not keep these things to myself and because I need support. That's why I'm telling you, you need to say that to that person. That's one way you can able to disclose your HIV status to your uh, partner. Uh, give yourself credit if you have been uh, practice safer sex with the sexual partner you are disclosing your status to. So it's very important you also tell the person and say, remember that since these days I've been using condom with you and the reason why I've been using condom with you because I found out that I'm HIV positive and I didn't want it to infect you and that's why I'm using condom but currently I'm taking medication my viral load is suppressed but there is also what is called PrEP you can also be on PrEP if you really love me we can still continue with our relationship just say that to that person 
then and 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 and, and then as i've said yes there will be some reactions to what you are saying so expect the reaction they might cry they might call you names but at least you have disclosed and disclosing is like you are relieved at least something that you have been keeping in your heart and you have said it if the person you are disclosing uh, reacts negatively remember that only one person not everyone is going to react the same way so when you react it, when you express yourself when you disclose it to that person and that person reacted um, aggressively or negatively remember not every person that you're going to disclose your status they're going to react negatively some of them they will support you so it's very important to look in even with your spouse even with the person that you loved you need to know which one do you need to disclose to if your girlfriend uh, you don't trust her maybe you trust her sister is better maybe you can disclose to a sister you can able to go and facilitate it to the sister so or to the brother or whatever so it's very important to expect negative response but you need to know who to disclose your status to and remember that you should give the person you are disclosing your status to sometimes to process the information whatever reaction they might be at the first whatever whether it's negative or positive be aware that reaction can change in any time so you need to give it time because if the person said no today it does not mean that person will say no tomorrow so give them time to process when they are processing it the time that they will ask themselves a lot of question and they will find a solution to themselves and that they will start now to breathe and start to accept on what you have saying to them and it's very important to keep it that way and sometimes maybe go out to a nice place where you can able to break the information or sometimes look at the nice things you get it but i know it's it's not easy you need also to be prepared to all the reaction that you're going to, 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 to receive. That's why you need to be prepared before you disclose. It's not a mandatory that when you are HIV positive, you dis disclose it to everyone, not who you are going to disclose to somebody that's going to give you support. And then when that's how you can go until you know that now you are fine with it, then you can um, able to tell. And I know the moment you disclose to people that are giving you support is very important. You can even come a national speaker on um, on the how you lived with it and also how you disclose your your status so that people can able to learn from you so i would like you to continue commenting give me comments if you want also more information about this please comment and please subscribe to my youtube channel so that all this type of this video messaging cannot miss your ear so that you'll be the first person to get this information don't forget to click the notification button to give you the notification that the new video is uploaded and please comment give me a thumb so reaction does not mean that it's going to demystify my feeling but also it, it will help me to learn i'm a student of learning and by you helping me by giving me a thumb by commenting that's also how i grow thank you very much for those that are watching my video and please keep sharing love you all